Well, what I what's interesting about what you're saying too, you know, you're you're given all this scripture, and basically what you're showing is that your use of those words before did not line up with the Bible's use of those words. And that's how it was for me is I had the, you know, I'm amazed at some of the things that I heard, you know, but at the same time, they did not register with me because I still had the dispensational definitions in my head. I had the charts in my head. So when somebody would say tribulation, I see Daniel's 70th week. I see the chart, the seals, the trumpets, the vials. Um, you know, the, the words of God are not what formed my thinking of those words. It was the theologians. It was the charts because again, yeah, if the words of God form your thinking, we see constant reference to us going through tribulation, you know, and you know, but so when you start letting the Bible define your terms and define your thinking, it's a completely new thing. And What's frustrating too, and I'm sure you deal with this, is how people, you know, what we've done, what we've had to do is we've gone to a more biblical uh, terminology, a more biblical approach to how we explain things and our definitions. But in the dispensational world, they will not let go of those definitions. And so no matter how much we prove to them tribulation and wrath are different, and how no matter how much we show them, we'll know. We believe that the rapture goes comes after the tribulation based on a verse that says after the tribulation. We don't believe the tribulation is considered a seven year period. They still call us mid tribbers. Just right. <laughs> so it's like, you know, if I'm talking to somebody, you know, and I'll especially I'm wanting to convince them, I need to understand their language. And so either yes. they don't understand our language or you know, and or they're being stubborn and they have to admit we are sticking to our Clarence Larkin language right. rather than Bible language. Cause without a doubt, Larkin and the Bible use those words differently. There's no question about that. So I, I think majority of people, they don't understand. And so they, they, they have, they have it locked into this, you know, it's this box of you're either a pre-trib mid trib or post trip and there's nothing else, you know, that because of what their understanding of what tribulation is, mm -hmm. instead of just taking what the Bible says. Same with the term elect. You know, you look at what, what does elect mean? And immediately with that dispensational thinking, the word Jews gets plugged in and mm -hmm. physical Jews, somebody from the modern day nation of Israel, you know, and, and you even hear preachers say such ridiculous things like Matthew 24 is not for you. You know, it's just for the Jews. And Okay, well, why do you say Mark 13? You know, these things I say unto all, you know, mm -hmm. uh, you know, don't don't take part of my Bible from me. It, it's all for us. It's every bit of it is. But the point is that it, it's because of a misunderstanding of those terms of what those terms actually mean biblically. Right.